When we allow complaints to persist, it damages our relationships with one another. We lose closeness with each other. We become more distant. There is more stress and tension in our lives. We experience less satisfaction, less warmth, less joy, less peace, and less love. Now the complaints are real, and the issues are often very much justified, but we do need to address them, and we need to address them openly and honestly and forthrightly. And as we address them, we really cannot assume that the other person is wrong and that we are right. We need to speak up about our feelings and try to figure things out together, find out what's really going on. And we do have to go into that interaction with an understanding that just because we feel hurt or upset, it doesn't mean that the other person has wronged us or done something to cause our feelings. Many times in life we, we learn that, that the, the upset that we're feeling is because we didn't understand the situation in the first place. We didn't have all the information, so we need to clarify and make sure that we have the Martha, though, was getting a payoff from this, the pay 
are living with that constant sense of God's presence such that we are absolutely loved and that we are not alone and that we have a power and strength that goes beyond our own. When we experience that kind of connection with God, we just feel right. No matter what we may be doing, we just feel right and we feel good. And we don't have to have that feeling by making anyone else feel wrong or see them as less. We can feel good about ourselves and good about others. We can enjoy being who we are and we can enjoy others being who they are. We don't have to be perfect and they don't have
opportunity to make new choices that lead to health and wholeness. Thank you for your love.